As you can see here, the Llama 3.1 models is available on my um, open web UI interface. Now, actually, I want the model to help me add doc string to my code. So take a look at this. It has provided me some doc string over here. Right. Don't forget to give us likes, leave your comments, share us to your friends, and also subscribe to our channels. We have YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Facebook. As I mentioned, Alama 3.1 is now available, open source, and is on Olama already. So you can, today, as of today, you can pull the Olama model to your local machine using this command. And I have done so. So let me just bring you a demo. I am going to use Olama tool and the Llama 3.1 model with the open web UI to actually help me in coding, actually creating doc string for my code. All right, so let me show you now. Olama list. Here we go. I have the Olama 3.13 8 billion parameter downloaded here. Takes about five gigabytes as as before. So uh, now I have my Llama serving, so I can start using Olama. I also want to show you that I have my Docker image of the open web UI running over here. So if you want to take a look into how to use open web UI in detail, I have my live video on episode 13 that walk you through everything that you need to know about open web UI as a user or as an admin. All right, so I have my Open Web UI running over here, I think. Okay, I have to the liberty to actually run this thing uh, ahead of time because, well, it's running on my computer. It would take some time to generate, right? <clears throat> it has slower token uh, generation speed. So now, as you can see here, the Llama 3.1 models is available on my um, open web UI interface. And this is because my open web UI interface is now integrated to the Olama uh, program on my computer. You can actually pick the model from the drop down list. Now, actually, I want the model to help me add doc string to my code. So I write a prompt. This is role playing. I want the AI or I want the Llama 3.1 to act as a senior AI developer who is expert in Python programming. He will help me write doc string. And I provide some context. This code is for transcribing uh, audio file into text. And in this, well, main.py anyway, in this main.py, I will use Gradio. There's a section that I use Gradio to make a quick UI interface. And I ask it to not modify anything related to Gradio code, but you may add comments to uh, explaining what is going on there. And the actual task is write doc string for other functions. And then I copy and paste my uh, Gradio, sorry, my main.py code over here. Everything is there. And then it started doing things for me. All right, and then I just copy and paste this thing to the Visual Studio code. So this is my original code. Let me just go back to the top. On the left side part is the original code that I have. And the right side is the code that Llama 3.1 edited for me. So take a look at this. It has provided me some doc string over here. Row, right? Audio file change, what is happening? Updates the default output path based on the select audio file. The argument, input argument is source, path to the audio file, and return a tuple. This is exactly what happened here, right? Well, if you know Gradio, you should be able to understand this, but basically, um, this is going to be passed in as text, and this is going to be path to the text, and therefore, my code here actually updates this. To, to the update this um, variable default output path. And right, this is my original, oh, sorry. This is my original code. 
where I didn't get, I didn't do any uh, documentation at all. And it does add this for me in the right explanation, right? Let's take a look at this transcribe. Transcribe is actually using whisper model. It, it loads a whisper model, or I need to install a whisper model on my local computer. It loads that model and trigger a method to transcribe the model for me. So the doc strings is here, transcribe the audio file using whisper. Great. It does know that I'm using whisper. Here is the input model select, select the model size. That's right. I need to select whether I want to use small or medium or large uh, whisper model size. Uh, the language, this is one of the button there and the path. And the output is text string, the text of the transcription. Yes, again, it has given me the right doc string. So pretty much I have asked, I can have generative AI model help me write my doc string. Save me some time. You can think about, I have probably going to spend a couple of minutes to write this. And if I have, I have like one, two, three, four, five, about five functions. So I probably saved about 15 minutes of my life here where when I prompt it, this is a minute. So 15 times or to be more uh, considerable, uh, humble, considerably humble, maybe eight times less. But when I use generative AI to help with my coding in this sense. Now, also I want to test. So this, this, this uh, main.py works, right? Now I want to test whether if I run this code, by the way, I just copied the output from the model here, right away without editing anything. I just copy it here and paste it there. So I want to actually run to check whether this code is correct or not. Uh, on the other hand, it means it llama 3.1 keep the code part intact. So let me test it. Out. So let me just Python main llama dot pi. I'm going to run serving this gradual interface up. Here we go. I'm going to paste it there. So I have, this is my familiar interface that I use. What I want is to a test audio. Here we go. I have a test audio that I made um, before starting this episode. So I'm just going to paste the source here. And this is how it sounds. Let's discuss about generalist versus specialist AI. Previously, we have predictive or specialist AI. All right, this is a sample audio file. And now I want to select a small whisper model specialized in English rather than multilingual. And then I can click to start the transcribing process. If it works, it should not have any error at all. So it's doing its thing for now. It shouldn't take longer than a minute or so because the, the um, audio file is really short. Here we go. This is the result, guys. So this is the text. Uh, let's discuss about generalist versus specialist AI previously. Blah, blah, blah. They are smaller. Blah. Here we go. And this is a, a uh, aggregated text, but the whisper model can also make you a timeline as well. And from a quick look of it, it's doing a great job. It's actually transcribing what I was saying. And now I can click export. All right, if it works, I should have another folder. Here we go. This is a folder that contains the prescribed, uh, not prescribed, transcribed language uh, from the audio. So effectively, what we have here is that the Llama 3.1 model, I can run it on my local computer and it can help me write down string. I'm looking forward to exploring other uh, coding capabilities that they, uh, the, the, the model can have. Um, I will play around with it later, but I'm curious how it can help me refactor or improve my coding, my code performance.